let's talk about mario 3d world bowser's fury who, who got a chance to, who got a chance to play it me uh mine's still out for delivery jordan's is still with jordan's is with animal crossing for date. they, they have 15 more problem. minutes to oh, deliver man. it for its second day <laughs> they just you better, better hope it's together. You better hope it's on with my animal crossing <laughs> it still says out for delivery we should get your delivery yeah. guy on wow. since he's obviously the one playing it right now at least I mean, yours made out for delivery mine's still in transit it's so, been out for delivery for two days mine's been oh. in transit for a year i know <laughs> but mine has a chance my to. my animal crossing must have taken the plane to visit your friend's islands in Animal Crossing. <laughs> so, so I'm going to say about, uh, Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury out Friday, picked it up, and I like Bowser's Fury quite a bit, so much so that mm -hmm. I, I did what MVG did. MVG, what did you do with it? I beat it in like two hours. Yeah, I, just yeah, I beat it I'm in one sitting. <laughs> but I am, I am going back now and and like trying to 100% the game, which I, almost, I think, I think it doesn't I take much long, longer. Right now I have like just over 70 of the cat shines. So I'm just yep. I'm working through them. There's a hundred, so I'm just kind of working through them. Um, but uh, yes, it was surprisingly good. Brilliant! Like, like so great. much. So I have a video yeah. coming out tomorrow, and I had no plans on making a video for this thing. But I was like, I stopped, and I was like, this is how 3D Mario games should be from now on. Yeah, exactly. it should be like yeah. Bowser's Fury. It is like yeah. an actual turning point for the Mario series, and it's an add-on, basically attachment to Mario 3D World. Um, so I I really like what I, what I saw here with with this game um did i mean a lot of people i'm sure are going to beat it in a couple of sessions it's it's not a super long game it's three hours like two to three hours mostly um i, I assume sean you rolled right through that yeah i just you yeah. know it wasn't wasn't all that hard but i i loved a lot of the things that they introduced into it and really i was under the impression that it was gonna play more like odyssey but it's what really too going into it. Yeah. yeah. Like, but it's not, it's literally like they took the 3d world mechanics and just made it for a more, you know, traditional 3d style game. And it, it, it's, it's brilliant. The no loading times or anything mm -hmm. that we haven't even talked about the Bowser's fury shit that happens. Like I was, I was really blown away by just how good it was. Yeah, it was it was surprising for what was presented to what we actually got, because I thought it was just going to be like another like world for 3D world that we'd go to. And it's like this right. extra hour long thing. And it's like, no, no, it's completely it plays different th than what you were expecting with 3D world. Um, so they drop you in. There is the thing I really liked is the whole thing. And I think the reason why it was so easy to beat in one sitting is it's just com it's seamless completely. Like yeah. there's no there's no breaks, because like if you play like a like a Mario game, like a 3D Mario game, there's a lot of chances for you to just be like, I'm going to stop right here. Cause it's mm -hmm. like you fit, you jump into the painting, you jump out and you're like, ah, I did that a few times. Now I think I'm going to stop for tonight. But mm -hmm. like the whole thing is just connected completely. So you're just going from one cat shine to the next, even if you're changing islands, which might be from like the ice world to the lava world or, or, or you're, you're going to um, the world is like what basically one big slide that you're going down on the big ice skate. And there's variety there. I, I think it's pretty obvious that this was something they didn't spend an obscene amount of time or resources on. It, it kind of feels like, I don't know, MVG, would you, would you play around with like, if you were in like a, if you were developing and stuff, would you guys be like, Hey, let's let's play around with an idea here. Let's see if we can make it work. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't think you would then release it and be like, let's just tack it on. But like, I almost look at this like they were coming up with ideas around how they could approach the next 3D Mario game. Yeah. And they were like, you know what? This is actually a game we created here. Let's just tack it on to, to 3D. Yeah. World. I, I yeah, wonder if they, I do wonder if they're giving us a glimpse into the future of you yeah. know what, what's coming next. You know what I mean? Because like. You're right. I mean, this is this is something that they didn't really have to include as part of this of this game, right? Because 3D World on its own stands stands alone as a pretty damn good game, and they've made it even better with this version. So, yeah, I think I think they're giving us a taste of of the future of of the Mario franchise. Yeah, it's just, just all cool. open world, but they make this map larger, and it's not just ocean. Because yeah. <laughs> it's pretty obvious they were like, you know, we don't really want to create a landscape that has to be unique all over the place. Let's just, it, it takes place on an ocean. Because <laughs> that, that yeah, yeah. my initial thought, Too like much water? Said, I, I yeah. thought there was just going to be like Mario <laughs> Odyssey, it. like some type of two-hour DLC almost, but not obviously DLC. But And yeah, I mean, they, they've really, you know, made this something real unique and special. Yeah, with I, new mechanics and so yeah. i i i sincerely hope that the the giga bowser stuff isn't just a one and done for this stuff because i oh. think that's something that they could really explore and i love how 
when you get into the Giga Bowser battle, you see all the islands that you that you visited or whatever, and they're just shrunk down because you're so big, but you can still see the little details and stuff like that. And I I, I just love and the the so lighting good. effects when you know a Bowser's throwing <laughs> the shit at you, and like if you get on Plessy while there's a, a fury attack going on it's gorgeous because like mm -hmm. the, the lighting is reflecting off of the water and stuff like that just brilliant brilliant stuff absolutely yeah. loved it you know what i you know i was thinking about sean with this i was like all right so what if this is like a small idea for them right now and they're going to build off it what if they have multiple large enemies in the world like a shadow of the colossus style setup where they're just in the Ooh. world and the map is huge right it's much bigger than what we have now with this but like the mon like the big enemies or monsters are different uh creatures from like the mushroom kingdom that are blown up and you have to take them down in different ways rather than just they wake up occasionally and then you collect all these bells or maybe they have one that has like the entire big monster is like the island part and you have to do all the objectives on top of them to to win like there's a lot of things they could do with this and if you think about it, it it's sort of a seed was planted with odyssey because there was two boss battles in odyssey that were just kind of like these are very dark you know these creatures are very large like it, it they almost felt like you know they stood out but kind of like a, a sore thumb it was like this this feels weird it was cool as hell don't get me wrong but like i definitely got those even the darker vibes from it too and i i think that would be a cool ass idea like i think they need to explore big creatures and things like that and you know just switch up the gameplay like you know odyssey did a good job but really to me odyssey is a game that i consider like a super mario 64 you know mm -hmm. sort of an extension of that like it didn't really change the game it just re it introduced new uh concepts and things like that but at its core you can really compare it to super mario 64 the level structure um you know the, the stuff like that but i think it's definitely something they can explore with the next mario game and it's, it's something time. they should explore it's time to give it the breath of the wild moment might, yeah. might as well yeah. and you yeah. can still go back i mean it's not like zelda games have completely abandoned the old concepts like you just got you know the Link's awakening remake mm -hmm. right yep absolutely so if they do that i mean it's gonna be the end of this year it's gonna be four years since odyssey so you feel like they're doing Wild. something with 3d mario to, yeah. to cap off this generation it's probably gonna have one more really big 3d mario game and yeah if you do a mario game that's a big open world style thing and maybe you have large enemies you, roaming around that world. You guys think that they're going to do another Mario game on this current? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I gotta, I'm not so I gotta, sure about that. I got to agree with OJ. I mean, if you look at all the Mario games on the Switch right now, even though a lot of them are, you know, remakes and stuff like that, I mean, there is a pretty decent collection of Mario games on the system right now. So is there room for another one? I, I don't yes. know. Like, Absolutely. maybe, maybe. They sell. Mario. They sell. I, I kind of think, yeah. I kind of think Odyssey like let's say the wii u was successful i almost feel like odyssey would have ended up on the wii u i yeah, think probably, probably. Odyssey, yeah, probably. Odyssey could have ended up on the wii u i yeah. i feel like that yeah. they looked at that and they were like uh eh, maybe we'll save this for the first year of the switch i uh, think a lot of stuff could have ended up on the wii u yeah <laughs> so, like, that's, that's what i mean though i think i think yeah. the wii u threw, threw off their schedule anyway with that like we may well, like, right now be talking about hey when's that 3d mario game the big 3d mario game going to show up for the switch uh if the wii u was successful I mean, if you look at it, look at, you know, games like Splatoon 2, that could have easily been a Wii U title. Um, Splatoon 1. Super Mario. There was Splatoon 1 already. Right, but you could have put, if the Wii U, what I'm saying is if the Wii U was successful, oh, Splatoon yeah. 2 would have been a game on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Odyssey would have been a game on that. Breath of the Wild was a game on that. So they probably just, like you said, switched a lot of the, no pun intended, uh, <laughs> switched a lot of the development <laughs> of those games to the Nintendo Switch because it made sense. Yeah, I I would love the idea of having the big 3D Mario to end like the generation, something open world like that. Some new or ideas. Does it, or does it start a new generation? Oh, maybe. There's a question for you. <laughs> but it would be cross but that, gen. They'd make it cross gen then, right? But it's Mario Kart. If that's the case, according to Nintendo, we are only halfway through the life cycle of the Nintendo mm, Switch. Yeah, but we still need Metroid and all these games that we're still waiting on. So let's let's get those out too. <laughs> how do we know metroid prime 4 is on the switch how you know that's not a next gen game it's, if it's anything it's cross gen all i've seen is a png for it oh, that that nice a png okay. it has a little fade and stuff with it <laughs> <laughs> it have an you, just have, 
You just have to think for yourself and question authority with it. That. Had, it had the, it had the <laughs> same. It, it had about as much animation as uh, Bayonetta three's had so far. So. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, I mean, Bayonetta had more. We at least saw her legs get like sliced off. No, okay. she like, she was shooting her gun. She shot her gun a couple her times. Legs just fall off, clean cut. Uh, Where'd they go? 20, uh, uh, 2018 was fun. <laughs> uh, gosh. <laughs> been a long time <laughs> can we talk about 3d world real quick i love yes. the fact that they've <laughs> sped up the uh, mario's like movement in the mm. game like i didn't really think like i thought that 3d like i love 3d world i think 3d world is one of the better mario games and i kind of felt like they shouldn't have messed with the game at all but giving him faster movement actually really does help the game a lot and uh it was surprising to see but i really enjoy the the reason they did that i think it was really cool I played the first world of 3D World after I finished Bowser's Fury, and I was. Did like, you ever? Did you ever play and finish 3D World on the Wii U? I did. Yeah, that was one of the. That was one of the few Wii U games I, I bought and played all the way through. <laughs> there weren't a yeah. lot at the time, but that was one because I was like, all right, this, this is a Mario game. I'm gonna grab it and play it. I liked it, but uh, yes, it, it was. It is faster on the Switch uh, by a noticeable amount. Hmm. So I played through the first world, and I was kind of like. I just want another Bowser's Fury style game because <laughs> I did that after I beat Bowser's Fury. Yeah, but I think I think it's good, especially if you have four people to play with or three other people to play with. It's it's a blast still, and the online is okay depending on how people's connections are. I saw OJ did a test and it yeah worked well. It, as soon as we booted up the guy with horrible internet, <laughs> everything <laughs> ran fine. <laughs> It seems to be if somebody has a bad connection, the whole thing just runs. It jacks like, yeah. Exactly. Somebody, if one person has a bad connection, it jacks up everything. Like it, it just destroys in everything. 3D but, world? Yeah, in three D world, like if somebody has a bad connection, it, and it'll tell you like this is like yo, the connection's bad. It's unstable. It won't because mm -hmm. like as soon as that person left, shout outs to my boy TH three. He's awesome. But uh, <laughs> like once he left, and we had a guy that was East Coast, and then we had another guy that was in Canada. So, and you know, I'm in California. So the fact that, you know, it was, we're so far away, yet it's still, it ran fine. So, so yeah. Well, at least it's, at least it's usable. We'll say that if everyone has, no, a it, it, as soon as, as soon it was actually really good as soon as he left, but it, there are some issues. It depends on like, but the two people that I was playing with, they were both ethernet plugged in. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. If yeah, it's I'm ethernet happy. plugged in, and if it's far away, Canada or East Coast, but if you're playing on Wi-Fi and your internet's like you have one of those crappy like Netgear routers, you don't have like a Nighthawk or something like that, like oh. it's probably gonna be it's not gonna. Yeah, matter. we can't really. That's the problem. Everyone's like Wi-Fi situation is so different. It's just easier to be like, look, get just get the LAN adapter. So we don't have to deal with any of the the most Wi-Fi stuff. People have bad, and I I don't think most people have bad. Like they don't have good internet. I don't I don't think people have good speed, especially here in America. The speed, like, did you guys see the prices for for speeds here? It's all it's it's pretty it bad. Varies. It's pretty bad. I mean, for we all pay for the highest speed, you know, and we pay a hundred something or whatever the case that we pay. But a lot of people don't want to pay that price to get that speed. They will pay the thirty or forty dollar package or whatever, and the speeds are horrible, absolutely terrible. Yeah. yeah. So <sighs> Comcast, Comcast. Yeah. And, and, and there's only there's barely any providers. That's nothing. Like, it's like monopolized. It's like there's Comcast. barely any providers. Comcast. Yeah. Spectrum. It's like Comcast Spectrum. If you got like files that's very limited yep. but yeah. like it, there's We're barely anybody that provides internet you know yeah so it's like it's, it sucks <sighs> it's frustrating we'll see what happens maybe starlink will change things we'll see <laughs> uh well. so yeah 3d 3d world bowser's fury nate what'd you think you like it yeah it's good it's quality it's good. mario game did he, did he just jump right into Bowser's Fury? Didn't even bother with yeah. 3D World? Yeah. I didn't jump back into 3D World. I don't yeah. I didn't want to play that again. Yeah. But uh, what, do you, what do you think of Bowser's Fury? You like it? Good turn for the Mario franchise? 3D Mario franchise? Yeah, it's good design. I mean, it has good ideas in it. I don't necessarily think it's a hint of what's to come for the Mario 3D franchise. I think this was more of them saying, what did we have in 3D World and how can we expand it into its own little thing? Mm. And this is ultimately what they crafted you have the nice references to like yoshi's island and why bowser jr had to be included it's actually a good use of bowser jr for once he's not an annoying side character who's just there to annoy you like in sunshine he's actually utilized well so that was nice but visually say, it's 
astonishing. If they if they go back to the typical Mario after playing that, I will be kind of disappointed. I will say I will say that like having Aww. like basically Ooh, teleport Super Mario Bros. And all this stuff and jump into paintings and break up all the action to see what they could do with a big open world Mario game. A little disappointed if they went back to the. Oh, they're always good at innovating when it comes to a new 3D Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do like the flow, though, like what John says, I think it's true. Having everything just open, like I almost burnt my damn pizza because I was playing. The, <laughs> <laughs> I was playing it. it that there's no load. Usually I can put a Mario game, right? You can easily stop. Like John was saying, you can go stop. You can do what else, something else. Maybe you don't want to play anymore. But this one, it just, it's just open. You just get to go anywhere that you want. And, you know, and that's kind of like the same addictiveness that Zelda has. Breath of the Wild, where like you just yep. don't want to stop because it's just everything's just there, you know, so. I think that would be great if they went in that direction. I'm down because like I, I haven't beat it yet, but I I think I played it for about 45 minutes or so. I've mm-hmm. been trying to collect everything, and I I love Bowser's Fury, but I mean I really like the original base game too. Like I'm a big fan of 2D Mario, um, especially like Mario Bros. Three. So this blends 2D and 3D, at least the original game. So I like the original game, 3D World, and I also like Bowser's Fury. I, I like both styles, you know. Better than New Super Mario Brothers U. Oh yeah, it's definitely better than New Super Mario Bros. U. <laughs> Definitely better than that. But I'm telling you, man, that's the number one kids game right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, kids love that game. <laughs> Not as much as they love Finnegan Fox. And but, they uh, and they and, and they removed the fall damage from the game. <laughs> so you just jump right off the, the top of a tower and bounce. Yeah, you can just launch yeah. yourself yeah. and make these ridiculous yeah. jumps like it's across half matter. the level. And be like, I don't need to go through this pipe. I'm just gonna fly. Yeah, you just jump and you your guy he just lands normally, like legs intact and all. So I do like how weird. all the abilities you can just like traverse through all the different areas just with all the different abilities and stuff, and how you can store like up to five of each. Mm, but I just yeah. like running around as Cat Mario. But I think what was really cool is like, you know, like the minor changes that happen throughout how the map just kind of naturally evolves. Like obviously like when new stuff is revealed, it'll show like that mini cutscene. Uh, but like, you know, like when the when the cat appears, you know, you just like turn around, it's like, oh, you weren't there before. And then it's like all these little changes or the, you know, the, the lighthouse is reset. And it was just really cute. I like it. it yeah, it's it's I don't know. I was managed to be tried. cute and dark at the same time. <laughs> For real, this is probably one of the coolest looking Bowsers ever. Honestly, it's like if it looks like if, if Bowser and, and Demise, like their concept art was just combined together. It was so cool. I was I was a little disappointed with the the boss fight, boss fights. I should say. I haven't got there yet. It's. Yeah, so it's, kind of it's, typical it's, Nintendo boss fights. Like it's it's samey. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you, you just fight Bowser several times, and that's it. And it's like, I guess I don't know. And people are like, I don't know, I don't know it, three times. Like, I mean, it, it kind, kind of, of just felt like a Mario game to me. It's like this is yeah. what you get. So I, I was I was okay with it. I didn't really feel like it was you know family was friendly. Yeah. I thought they yeah. might change up the encounters a little bit because you. Well, yeah. I mean, you become Ultra Instinct Super Saiyan Mario, and you're yeah. fighting Jaren Bowser. Meow. Yeah, but you do that same thing like four times. Well, see, that's where they could innovate with the next 3D Mario, where we could actually have. That's, epic that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm hoping for. Is if they have well, several large creatures, enemies you like, fight. What do you like, do? Do you have hand-to-hand combat with these things? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you have to have the controllers <laughs> in each <laughs> hand and have like, I don't know. fling it at them. In arms. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you do, like, ultra combos to Bowser, and he can counter you. <laughs> Yeah, you can just grab him and snaps, eat him. Maybe there's, Mario's maybe, arm. There's, maybe there's one where, okay, maybe there's one where you go to get really large to fight against one of the big creatures, but somehow they stop you from being able to do that, and you have to fight and take them down Shadow of the Classes style, like, as a small mm. person the whole way. All small Ooh, that'd be cool. The whole way, right? Yeah. So you have to, like, climb up and take them down and all that. Like, there'd be some cool stuff they could do rather than just have the same thing of you getting very large over and over again to fight I, there, there's some cool stuff they could do going forward so i, I hope that's something they have in mind so. yeah we we probably have too great of ambitions to have these epic mario encounters when it's just still going to be the standard hit bowser three times and he's going to do Arr, and then we're going to do it again later i'm trying to help i'm trying to help out i'm doing my part <laughs> kids play this <laughs> we can't have uh what was that game on the 360 where you like punch the moon and stuff um oh. capcom made it it was a bunch of azura's wrath yeah azura's azura's wrath. Wrath. Yes, we right. can't have mario fighting bowser like azura's wrath you can <laughs> that game wow that would be awesome though uh, holy shit picture that game <laughs> <laughs> at the mario's wrath <laughs>